And tell us what all this is that we're seeing. Okay, right here you're seeing 960 lithium ion cells with uh, battery balancing circuits, one per 10 packs. We have uh, multiple lines of cable rated to try and take the 800 kilowatts off the line that we've built this car to be able to produce. Um, we have a full air ride suspension so we can independently raise and lower each wheel. Everything in here is power distribution. Um, then we have the air tank system for the air shocks. Um, you know, standard car battery. We've got a 600 watt stereo, and then you know, lights, uh, hook up for a trailer, etc. Lithium are so powerful, you can drive it to the track, and you don't necessarily have to charge between runs. They are that powerful. But we've all learned that even with the lithiums, if we keep them hot, keep them agitated, and charge between runs, you get the most power you can out of them. So Michael's going to be charging in between runs at the track with his lithium, and uh, it should be pretty exciting. I might have to secretly put a chain on the back of his car, and you know <laughs> he won't know about it or something. But. No, we're pretty excited about this. Do you want 10 more horsepower for your car? Oh man, can I have that? Is that mine? Here we go. Here, look at here. This, it's not real pretty, but there, right <laughs> oh, there. I'm not going to give you the good ones. All right, so I get the like blue. <laughs> this is 10 horsepower in my hand. Look at this. That's 10 horsepower. Yeah, you could actually take these and split them up and start two highway tractors. One yeah. for one, one for the other one, yeah. Yeah. When you say powerful, how powerful are, what, what are we talking about? Like? Well, let's, let's, let's put it in this terms. When you start like a, a car with a V8 engine, rah, rah, and you crank over that big engine, your starter motor will get those cables hot and it draws up a couple hundred amps to crank the car over. One of these little cells can effortlessly put out 200 amps. It's unbelievable. Look how tiny they are. One of these and four of these together makes about a 12 volt block. Those right there, We'll start a big block muscle car with high compression. So we're powering a car with how many do you have in your car? Uh, 960 because I had some problems. 960. You're going to need more than that to beat me, though. Uh, well, you know, I was thinking that I was going to go down to 800, but oh, oh, I see how it goes. Well, you know what? That other hundred, I can kind of think of a, a something to do with them here. You know. Yeah, this is pretty exciting stuff. You know, again, these are normally used inside DeWalt cordless drills, the 36 volt drills that it's um, it's taken uh, cordless tools to a new level. The, these these lithium ion tools are so powerful they actually have more power than a plug-in drill has. They have more power. Used to be contractors go, oh, those are toys, give me a plug-in drill. Now they're saying, put away the toy plug-in drill, give me that lithium ion power tool. And and that's where these you actually got these out of DeWalt drill packs. Right. Yeah, so you know, well here, look down here, you got a bunch of DeWalt tools, phenomenal power. So as long as KD can get the power to the ground today, tonight, uh, with, you're going to put some slicks on the back, we're going to put some uh, wheelie bars on the back, he stands a good chance of beating our car, and, and I'll be the first to congratulate you. Uh, of course, if, that's if you're fully charged. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I don't see any of my lights coming no, on yet, no, no, so... No, no. Now there's a problem though, see, here's the problem that, you know, you only have one motor. I have two. Yes, that's true. So, you know. But and you got, also have more experience. But he's got a, he's got a really big one. Do you guys see the motor in this thing? The motor is unbelievable. Can I, can yeah. we, show, show me your big motor. That's what I say. That's a big one. What is that? That's an 11-inch motor? Yes, it is. What, how much torque do you think you're going to be making out of that? 1,800 to 2,100 foot-pounds of torque, depending at, on loss. At what RPM? Up to uh, 5,500. And where does it start? Oh, it starts at zero. Zero <laughs> RPM. Yeah, with, with electric motors, you don't have to look for a torque curve. The torque curve is instantaneous. There's no buildup. You don't have to wait for a certain RPM. You don't have to slip a clutch. Electric motors will hammer it full power the minute you put electricity to them. 